back again. This is still your third module in science, but since I made two sets of module in science, so I will be giving also two sets of video for this topic. But before we are going to dig in into the second set of your module for this third uh, session, we are going to start it with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we would like to thank you for this another time for us to uh, fellowship together via online. We thank you for the opportunity that uh, despite the distance that we have, we can still see each other and we can, we can still learn from each other, dear Father. Lord, as we are going to start this session, may the presence will be in the needs of us. Help each one of us, especially my students, to uh understand the topic that we are going to talk today we entrust all the things into thy care in christ loving him i pray amen hello once again and this time we are going to talk about the second set of your science module okay i know that some of you are wondering why you have to but actually i'm trying to make the competencies um, present in all your modules so that we can meet the desired outcomes, okay? So at this point, I would like you to get your module and follow where I am discussing, which part in the module I am discussing, okay? So this time I will be talking, we are going to have it in the first page. Same with your previous modules, you can see there the name, and of course the grade okay write your name here i want it to be a complete name and of course your grade what grade are you now okay you are going to write in this part this is your science for grade five the topic is effect of changes in materials on uh, on the immediate environment and living organism what are the effects and changes of materials and to the environment and to the living things that is there still we are going we are still uh, following or we have our learning design which is the crown and crown spell a c-r-o-w-n and of course we are going to start with our c which stands for captivate attention okay i will read hello dear students how was your weekend I hope you had a good time with your family and loved ones. I know that you did enjoy your previous module and I do hope that you still have that drive within you for this module. To start with, let us open our Bible in the book of James chapter 4 verse 17. Then after reading the verse, kindly read the story below. Okay, I want you to really follow it. Now, get your Bible. Open it in James chapter 4, verse 17, because that is the key text in our story, okay? In our devotional story. Here is your devotional story. The title is A Messy Day. It is written by Ananya Mahapatra, okay? James chapter 4, verse 17, it says, So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him, it is a sin. Try to think of it. If you know what is the right thing to do and you did not do it for the Lord, it is a sin. Remember that. Okay. One Sunday morning, Gus was eating his breakfast of sausage, bacon, pancakes, maple syrup, and milk. He had taken a large portion, but after a while, he didn't feel like eating anymore. He threw the food into the trash can and then thought, I'll throw this somewhere outside so my house doesn't smell and mom wouldn't know I wasted food. So when he went out for a walk for some fresh air, he took his trash with him in a black bag and dumped everything out at the corner on Sunny Street. The next day, Gus's friend Jack asked him if he could go to the park that evening. Sure, which park? 
as Gus. Oh, you know, the new one on Sunny Street, was Jack's answer. All right, it's fine with me. Meet me at my house at five, Gus questioned. Five o'clock it is, replied Jack. Okay, said Gus happily. So they met at Gus's house, five o'clock sharp. While they were walking, a dog started barking at them. As they neared the corner on Sunny Street, Gus picked up his tone and threw it at the dog. The dog rode and started backing away from them. Gus was happy to see the dog run away and kept walking. Because he wasn't looking where he was going, Gus tripped on a rock and fell flat in the middle of the pile of dirt he had made yesterday. It was the place where he had thrown his trash. Because Gus was holding him, Jack too fell, but luckily on top of Gus. Ouch! groaned Gus. Thanks for the soft landing, chuckled Jack. What? cried Gus. Are you my friend or what? You're disgusting, G. No, I'm not, but you are. What do you mean? You got us in this trouble. What? Stop saying what. You're the one who threw this garbage here? Here? Excuse me. Don't deny it now. Hello, mister. I saw you. But, all right. You're right. It's my mistake. Gee, I'm sorry. I guess I deserve it. Oh, it's both our fault. I should stop you. Lesson learned? Lesson learned. Anyway, come on, we'll go to the park later. Let's go home and get clean, clean first. Good idea. You are right. Lesson learned. Now, I will never throw garbage anywhere outside and pollute the environment. And I'll stop people from doing it too. Good, Green Jack. Gus Green back and the boys, both the boys ran home to clean themselves. Okay, that's the end of our a devotional story. It talks about proper waste disposal. Whether we like it or not, class, what we are doing now will get back to us in the near future. Okay, there is always a consequence. Let's take, for example, what Gus did. Okay, there is always a con consequence. It may not be now, but maybe later they will get us back. Okay. After reading the story, what you need to do in the second page is you are going to continue to supply the answer in the blank here. Based on the story, I learned that. What have you learned out of the story? Next, based on the story, I come to understand that. Next, based on the story, I will try to what you want to try, you will try to. And the verse, it pertains to our verse, which is James. The verse means that we're going to continue here. So, punan mo lang ang mga, um, uh, mga, there is a blank, okay? I hope that you did get that part, okay? Next, let's proceed. For us to be guided with our learning goals this week, Please read the following. This is our goals. This is our most essential learning competencies. The things that you need to do, the things that, that we need to accomplish or the expected outcomes after we are done with this module, okay? The student must have practiced proper waste, this waste management at home by segregating their waste materials. We will be talking about uh, waste disposal. That's why... In this module, uh, one of the expectations is that you will practice proper waste disposal at home. And I want, and later, there are things that you need to do as we go along with the module. Your enabling competencies, the student must have described the different changes that affect the immediate environment and living organism. Identify the causes and effects of pollution and recognize the importance of recycle, reduce, reuse, recover, and repair in the waste management or the five R's in the waste management. That is our goal for this module, okay? So before we are going to discuss more about pollution, about waste, about um, 
greenhouse effect and so on the first thing the first activity that you need to do is that you are going to fi fill out the table below by listing the effect of vehicles emitting smoke in proper column you can ask any members of your family or chat a friend in this activity just quote the name of a friend and their answer this time it's not only you you can ask your mom you can ask your dad you can ask your sister or you can even chat a friend to help you or to give you their views about this activity okay as you can see in the left side this side glass you can see cars who are emitting smokes okay kita nyo na mga smokes okay for example you ask your mama okay like you are going to write here mom you are going to write here mom sulat mo mom oh. according to mom what is the effect of this uh of this smoke to human write it here and according to your mom what is the effect of that smoke to the environment you're going to write it here next for example you ask your ate you're going to write the name of your ate and then what do you think what what your ate think about the effect of the smoke to human and the effect to environment and so on how many? As many as you can, as long as maigo, there is a table class. You can chat, you can ask your friends, your family members, and even your friends online. But do not forget to quote their name according to, according to, and of course, their statement based on the issue. I hope that it's clear. Okay, we have simple facts here at the bottom part of this page. It says, did you know heavy duty vehicles comprise only 5% of all vehicles on the road, yet they can generate more than 25% of global warming emission that comes from the transportation sector and significant amount of air pollution? Electric cars are helping to reduce pollution from passengers' vehicles. Electric trucks and buses could eliminate tailpipe pollution entirely and increase the development of clean, renewable, electric, and hydrogen. Okay? So, much nice ang mga electric cars. Now, let's proceed to the second letter of our crown, which is the R. Or, or it stands for reason of. Okay, this is the proper discussion of our lesson. So I will be reading. As modern facilities and products are made through industrialization and scientific modernization, planet Earth becomes more and more polluted due to chemical waste from under-regulated chemical processes. Would you believe that? As, as the world become modern, as the world modernize, we innovate, we have many discoveries. We have new many, uh, many new technologies around the earth also becoming more and more polluted. Why? Because of a regulated chemical processes. Excessive. Damo-damo mga higo. Damo-damo mga waste materials. Pollution can change the environment as well as living organisms. It can kill people, plants, and animals. Pollution is not just simple, class. Pollution can kill not only plants, not only animals, but of course, it can also kill humans. Things that cause pollution are called pollutants. Anything that can cause pollution, things that can cause that can cause pollution are called pollutants. Pollutants can get into the water, soil, and air can affect us. Try to example. If the water that you are drinking as of the moment is polluted, do you think you will become healthy? No, obviously. If the water that our fishes in the oceans are uh, swim, swam, uh, swimming is polluted, do you think that the fishes will survive? What happened to the air that we are breathing every day if it is full of if it is polluted? What will happen to us people? See? 
it can really kill us and these pollutants we can get this pollution these pollutants in air water soil how about our plants we're growing if the soil is polluted already it can be a cause of death to all living creatures right okay let's talk first the pollutants from soil pollutants from soil can come from chemicals used on farms to kill insects and other pests and come from chemicals that farmers put on the ground to help crops grow rain can wash away these chemicals into the rivers that can kill a large number of fish birds and other animals okay so most of the farmers nowadays especially those big farms they are using insecticides they are using chemicals in order to uh, get rid of those of those pests that harming their crops and of course sometimes what happened is that after they apply the insecticides these chemicals it rain what happened when it rain all these chemicals will be will be washed away going to the river to the creeks where number of fishes reside where birds drink and what happened to these living creatures there probably they will die okay and that becomes a cause of their death those pollutants kill not only small amount but large numbers of fish that's why if you observe our rivers as of today not just not the same long time ago that the fishes are there they're healthy you can just safely mamunit lang kamo and it's good but now why? Because it's not only the fishes. If you are going to eat those fishes na affected sa affected sa mga insecti sa mga pesticide, what will happen to you? You will also get some illnesses out of that. Next, the second, pollutants from water. Okay. Pollutants from water comes from factories that dump poisonous chemicals into bodies of water. Other come from oil spills from ships, tankers, and pipelines. They may remain dangerous for a long time. Aside from pollutants from soil, which comes from, far, from the farms uh, and being washed away by the rain going to the river, we have also water or pollutants from the water. The inisilahalin. This come from big factories. Whether we like it or not, many big factories ng ilang mga waste materials, the ingi paagi. Either ang mga tubo nila class, pakad to sa sea. Nalang na sa dalum, pakad to sa sea. Have you heard the issue in Boracay? That's what happened. Huh? Ang mga tubo nila pakad to sa Boracay na dagat. That's example. Pollute, water pollutants. Another is mga oil spill. That is, if you hear some news like oil spill, it's from the ships sa mga barco class that also a ah, water pollutants. Okay? Now, let's go to air pollutants. How can air be polluted? Okay. Air pollutants are either gases or particulates, which include soot, smoke, and ash from coal combustion, dust released during industrial processes, and other solids from burning vegetation. Here are some effects of air pollution to environment. Air pollutants. If you are going to see some factories, they are releasing a smoke, and that is not just a simple smoke. Some of that smoke are very harmful. Okay, coal combustions, mga ash, ashes, that is not good. And here is some of the example, some of the effects. What are the effects of this air pollution? Ano ang apikto sine? Number one, we have global warming. I know that you are familiar with the global warming, right? Global warming or the greenhouse effect 
is a serious problem. It is the increase in the average temperature of Earth's atmosphere. It happens when the amount of gases such as methane and carbon dioxide rises in the atmosphere. Global warming can trigger melting of the Arctic region that can cause catastrophic flooding to the continents around the world. It can also trigger climate change, which can affect the formation of extremely strong typhoon. That is the effect of the greenhouse effect. It can, ano daw, the ang pinakalalagid ani class because it it can it triggers the melting of the Arctic region. And if that Arctic region class will be melted, all of us will be washed away. Okay? It all of us will be washed away. That is when you say global warming, that is the increase of the amount of gases such as methane and carbon dioxide. Init na siya class. Okay? Next, we have number two, the acid rain. Okay. The acid rain. Another problem of the earth now is the man-made emission or gaseous chemical waste from vehicles and industrial and power generating that produce sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide. This waste becomes stronger when decombined with water. Try to think of it. And, for example, when they combine with water in the atmosphere to produce acid like sulfuric acid and nitric acid, okay? That acid rain is very harmful not only to us human but also to our forest, even our forest. It can cause, uh, it's this acid rain, it kills fish and aquatic plants in lakes and rivers. This will cause respiratory diseases in humans who happen to inhale it directly, right? Try to think of it. If we keep living the way that we are living now, uh, if you are going to observe in the street, almost all people has their own cars, their own motorcycles, and all the emission from those uh, vehicles that we saw, and all those emissions can cause and can cause diseases or illnesses. This waste becomes stronger when decombined with water in the atmosphere to produce acid like sulfuric and nitric acid. And when it rains class, the rain becomes very acidic. Okay, it's not a healthy rain anymore when you can just around or run around and enjoy the rain. Right? It called acid rain okay and it will cause respiratory disease in humans if you are going to inhale it and it can also cause decay to concrete structure it can cause the corrosion and materials made of metals it destroys many historic spots and structures all over all over the world it can mga monument it can destroy monument because of the acid because of that acid rain Next is the depletion of the ozone layer, okay? Ozone layer depletion means the thinning of the ozone layer present in the upper atmosphere. That is harmful to nature and to the atmosphere. Ozone layer dep depletion is one of the major problems for the atmosphere and also for the living things, being including the flora and fauna of the earth. A slight decrease in amount of the ozone in the atmosphere will allow more ultraviolet rays to reach Earth's surface. They can lead to intense sunbur sunburn, skin cancer, cataract, premature aging, weakening of the immune system, and other health problems like abnormalities and various defects in infants and complicated pregnancies. Try to think of it. If you are going to go outside, at this time, you can feel the heat of the sun. That is because of the depletion of the ozone layer. Uh, it's not good anymore to go out at midday, especially when it's sunny day, because for sure you will have sunburn. And if we keep con if we continue doing these things that could harm the ozone layer, time will come that every rays of the sun becomes very harmful to human 
every heat that will strike in our skin can be very harmful to us. That's why as early as now, we need to think, what are the things that we need to do? Okay? Here are some ways to prevent that may have harmful effect on the environment and living organism. Number one, we need to practice the principles of five R's. All of this happened because of human being. Okay? All of this uh, all of the things that we are suffering now, the greenhouse effect, the acid rain, it's all because of us. The, but then, we can still save this one. Number one, what we need to do? We need to practice the five R's. What is five R's, mom? We're going to talk it later. Okay? Number two, we can sacrifice some of our luxurious ways, such as the use of aerosols, for the good of the planet. Next, number three, let us do our share in maintaining a healthy environment. We must avoid the use of too much electricity and gasoline. We must also avoid burning of rubber tires and plastics. Those are simple ways, but very useful, okay? As much as possible, Wherever you are, do not allow anybody to burn plastics, to burn tires, and even to use too much of gasoline, okay? Number four, refrigerators and air, air conditioners should be well maintained. When they break down, when left alone, they may leak CFC that can lead to the thinning of the ozone layer. Most of the time, Abby class, if the kaguba ang inyong nga mga appliances, especially the refrigerator, they will just put it there. And that the CFC may leak and it can cause thinning of the ozone layer. Number five, vehicles, cars, jeepneys, and trucks should be well maintained and regularly serviced. If vehicles are properly maintained, they will not produce black smoke and release pollutants into the environment. If you have cars, if you have vehicles, if you have jeepneys, if you have motorcycle, be a responsible owner. Okay? Make sure that your um, uh, mode of transportation, of your motorcycle, your cars are well maintained so that it will not produce black smokes that could harm our environment. Okay? Now let's proceed to your interactive inquiry number one. Letter A, it's a modified true or false. Write true if the statement is correct. If false, change the underlined term and make it correct. Write your answer in the space provided before it's number. Okay, here you go. We, as you can see, there is an underlined words here. What you need to do, you are going to write true if the statement is correct and if false, you are going to change the underlined word to make it correct. Okay, number one. Evaporation protects the earth from harmful ultraviolet rays. Evaporation. If you think this is correct, you're going to write, write it here true. If you think this is wrong, change the word, the underlined words and make it a, to make it a correct statement. Number two. Oxygen is a greenhouse gas that prevents heat from exiting planet Earth. Oxygen. Okay, if you think true, write it here. If you think that is wrong, change the underlined words to make it correct. Number three, burning of garbage can contribute to global warming. Burning of gar garbage can contribute to global warming. If you think it's true, then you are going to... Write it through. If you think this is wrong, try to change the underlined word to make this statement correct. Number four, acid rain can cause the destruction of forests. If you think it's true, the same, write true, and so on. And the last number, ozone depletion refers to the deduction of ozone gas. Next, let's proceed to letter B. Here in letter B, it says, Identify whether the following statements are cause and effect. Write your answer on the line before the number. What you are going to do, you are going to write here cause or effect. Okay, number one. 
When you say cause, amo na siya ang hinunggan. When you say effect, that is the mm, apikto or ang resulta. Okay. Kabangdanan is the cause, effect is ang resulta. Next, uh, let's have the number one. People dump chemicals into the lakes and rivers. Do you think that is a cause or that is an effect right here? Number two, birds and marine life are killed. Right here, cause or effect. Number three, chlorine-containing chemicals are broken down into the atmosphere. Number four, people use CFC in refrigerator and aerosol spray. Number five, farmers use pesticides to eliminate insects and plants. Just write it here, cause or effects. Next, let's proceed. Number six, we have soil and water and contaminated. Number seven, coal and gasoline are burned. Number eight, gases mixed with moisture in the air. Number nine, the polar ice cup melts. Number 10, the global temperature rises. Okay, still you're going to write whether that is a cause or effect. Next number, letter C. Briefly explain the following on the lines provided after each number. You are going to answer. To answer this, you are going to explain this side. There is a blank provided there. For example, number one, what good changes happen to our environment because of chemical change? Is there any good that happened to your environment because of chemical change? Write it here. You need to explain it. Do not just say yes. You do not just say no. Just explain. Number two. Out of the environment pro out of the environmental problems, which do you think is the worst? We have many environmental problems mentioned a while ago. You have there the greenhouse effect and so on and so forth. Out of those environmental problems, which do you think is the worst and why? Okay, you are going to choose and you are going to explain. Why do you think that is the worst? Next, number three. What makes some suggestions on how an individual pupil like you can help minimize our environmental problems? It's just a simple suggestion based on your understanding of our problems, of our environmental problems. Write your suggestions here in a standpoint of a student like you. Okay? Now let's proceed to the second part. That is the importance of five R's in the waste management. Okay, we're going to know more about these five R's by and by. Okay, but, but first we're going to understand what is waste management, okay? Waste management refers to the practice of proper waste disposal. I'm gonna show waste management. When you say waste management, that is the practice of proper waste disposal. Tadlo nga pag haboy, pag dispose sa aton nga mga pasura. Waste refers to use or consume products or materials. A very good example of this is garbage. Pag maghambal ka waste materials, amo na ang aton nga mga basura. Ang inyo nga mga basura every day. Every day, ara kita basura. It could be plastic. It could be paper. It could be metal. O ano ano pa. But I am sure that all of us has waste materials every day. Waste management is implemented anywhere in order to clean the environment and make everyone healthy. Surely, you do not want to leave a place full of garbage and waste. Aside from the foul smell, we do not want to get sick because of the who among you here like to live in a garbage area. Namian ka mo, dito ka mo, dito ka mo every day sa, sa basurahan, mountain of garbage. Do you think to live there? I guess no one would like to, right? Hindi lang ang baho-baho, class. Ano pa? It can cause any illnesses. Okay. A kind of waste management we follow nowadays is the five R's of the waste management. It is a modern way of organizing garbage and waste materials. The focus of the five 
R's waste management is to promote clean and healthy environment. Number two, transform garbage into something useful. Number three, making the earth free from any garbage or waste materials or zero waste. Amo gina ang goal sa 5 R's, okay, that we are practicing now. And I hope that all of us will, I hope that all of us will, will practice the 5 R's, okay? Now, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Each R focuses on a way to achieve a zero waste. Okay, tanan nga R, tanan nga R na na sila represent kung ano na sila. Okay, what are those five R's represent? Let's start with the first R. We are going to talk five R's today. Five, first is the reduce. What does it mean to reduce? Okay. As the word literally, mean, literally means, we should not create nor make waste materials as much as possible. Okay? In, a, in the first R, which is reduce, the goal is to minimize the use or our waste materials by, by what is needed. Amulang gina. Mapalit lang ta ano lang ang kinahanglanon. Buy what is needed. The lesser we buy, the lesser garbage we make. That is reduce. Advise your helpers, advise your mothers not to buy too much items in the grocery. Just buy what you need for the time being. That's how to reduce. Hindi kay palit ng palit lang. Buy only what is needed. Next, compost. Do not throw food crop like peelings of fruit and vegetables. They make a very good fertilizer for plants. Pencil scraps, wood, animal manure, and other biodegradable materials can, can be composted. Do not throw the peelings of your fruits. Instead, compost it. In that way, you are reducing. Next. Refuse buying products that are toxic to the environment. Example of this are the paints, the varnishes, uh, uh, soaps, and laundry detergents. As an alternative, buy the environment-friendly version of the products. Read their products labels to know. Okay. As a buyers, we need also to be vigilant. We need also to be mindful on what are the ingredients of the uh, of the materials that we are buying, especially in the supermarket. In that way, we are reducing the waste materials in the environment. The second after reduce, when you say reduce, buy only what is necessary. The goal is as much as possible, we are helping to reduce and reducing the waste materials of the environment. Number two, this is the the use. Okay, reuse. Some materials are non-biodegradable. It's easy for biodegradable because we can just uh, make a compost pit and we can just dump all the uh, biodegradable materials there, and it can be it can be composted for a long time. But how about those non-biodegradable materials? For non-biodegradable materials, we will reuse it. Non-biodegradable materials are materials that cannot be composted. When we say cannot be composted, hindi malata. All materials derived from non-living things are non-biodegradable. Tanan nga butang nga non-living things, hindi na sila malata. Example of that, plastics, cans, metals, and rubbers, all of that are Hindi malata. Okay. As is, all plastic covers, foam, plastic containers, reuse them in such a way that their uses are at ease. You can still use the covers. You can still use all of them. Do not just throw it right away. I know that there are many ways that you can reuse. You can reuse it. 
donate the materials of or things that you have used instead of throwing them. Surely you will make someone happy. Give away your old toys, clothes, and books to charity. Okay. For example, you have many toys and it's too much for you already. So, mga medyo guba, guba lang ginagmay, but then you choose to throw it away in the garbage can. You can just uh, you can just share it or give it to somebody, especially this unfortunate one. Oh, wala sila ikabakal. In that way, you can make them happy and you are also helping the environment. Next, do a garage sale. As the saying goes, think wisely and you'll get money. Sell the clothes that you do not fit anymore. Sell your old toy, show, shoes, and bags in the storage safe. For example, you already gave some portion to the charity. But what you need to do, you are going to make a garage sale. You can, for example, now the, since, since the internet is uh, everywhere, you can have online selling, you, mga pre-love items, right? You can see that now. You can just uh, have live in Facebook and sell the toys that you have there, sell the bags that you have there, and anything that can be used by other person. Okay, pwede na ni siya, mga After the reduce, we have the reuse. Now, let's have the recycle. Okay, recycle. If you cannot think of ways to use, to reuse materials, do not throw them. Instead, recycle them. Recycling is the process of remanufacturing or reprocessing used materials. Ano daw? If you think hindi naging siya mapuslan, you cannot reuse it anymore, then recycle them. Hindi ko naman ginsya magamit ba? May guba na siya? Or do you think mahuya ka mo hatag because may gamay na siya nga uh, sira? Oh. You are going to transfer any recyclable materials like plastic, wood, papers, glasses, and rubbers to nearby factories or junk shop that can remanufacture them. For example, um, the plastic bottles. Ara na mga junk shop that really buy this plastic, these rubbers. You can just bring all those <clears throat> materials and in that way you can have money. Okay? Nakabaligya na ka, nakahelp pa ka in reducing the, uh, the waste materials of the environment. You can always think of recycling materials instead of throwing it away. Who knows, these materials might help you in the future. Okay, that is recycling. And last, oh, and last, but you have the reduce, reuse, recycle, uh, no, second to the last is you have the recover. Okay. What is recover? The first is you have the reduce, reuse, recycle, recover. Okay, that is your recover, the second to the last. Are you familiar with brownout and blackout? Obviously, right. All of us here in the Philippines accept that. I experienced that. Okay? All of us experience that blackout, that brownout, what we call. Electricity powers almost all things here. Electricity powers almost all things here on Earth, especially now. We are very dependent to electricity. We cannot have this discussion without electricity we cannot we cannot uh we cannot uh, have this zoom we cannot have this video we cannot turn on our laptop if we don't have electricity what else there are many things almost are dependent to electricity our electronic devices transportation our work and trading are powered by electricity electricity usually derived by the conversion of petroleum product like gasoline, like gasoline, an energy powered plant company like Miralco here in the Philippines does the conversion of the petroleum to electricity and its dissemination to the community. We have that, the Miralco. That's why you pay, you pay bills. Okay. Moreover, petroleum 
products are non-renewable resources. When you say non-renewable resources class, it are resources from Earth that are limited amount of supply only. Not renewable. This is only limited. Therefore, we can say that the amount of petroleum on Earth is limited. When you say non-renewable, hindi mo na siya mausar liwat. Once na ubus na, ubus na. And this non-renewable resources class are very limited. Recover means re converting waste to energy. Is it possible? Can we convert waste into energy? Yes. Transforming used materials or garbage into useful substance in order to create electricity or energy. Store used products like cooking oil, tires, vegetable and fruit, fruit fillings, and even animal manure where they can be transformed to LPG or liquefied petroleum gas used for cooking or methane or generating electricity. We cannot do it manually, but there are factories who are doing this. What we need to do is to exercise the proper segregation. And if we have, a, we have an opportunity, we have time, this could be recovering or taking part on how to recover or to bring all this cooking off these tires to such factory, then we can help. But as I know, it is practice uh, many of this kind of recovering energy. It is practiced in some part of the world because they have that advanced uh, factory, advanced um, factory who can convert this waste into energy. If we, if we cannot renew petroleum naturally, we can make petroleum by means of processing and composting or burning the garbage. Note that petroleum is not only the substance that can be produced by means of recovering. There are many, okay? There are many ways. And last but not the least is we have repair. What is repair? What will you will do when you accidentally break your favorite toy or cut your huggable teddy bears? Okay. Do you immediately throw them away? Pagka nagisi na gagamay haboy? Or you are going to find ways how you can restore the toy again? Repairing means to fix anything broken as much as possible. That is repair. Okay. Repairing means to fix kay uhon mo. Kung nabagli ang... Um, um, kamot sang toy mo nga iron man, you can find ways to tape it in order nga masugpon siya. That is repair. Defective products, do not immediately throw your defective products at home. As much as possible, find ways to fix them. Fixing defective products enable to reuse them, thus saving you from buying new ones and reducing waste. When you know how to repair, you do not need to buy it again. Do not need to buy new one again. In that way, you are reducing, you are reusing through repair. Okay, again, we are going to have recite the five R. Number one is reduce. Number two is reuse. Number three is recycle. Number four is recover. Number five is repair. Okay. What are the benefits of using five R's of waste management? Why do you think we need to use these five R's? I know the benefits. First, to community, thrift, thrift, or being thrifty, maka ano ta? Maka barato. Using the five R's saves one's money because you can hardly buy new products when you recycle, reuse, and repair them. Dinakakayo less gasto because you know how to recycle, you know how to repair. You can just reuse it. Okay? Mas makabarato ka. Next, recovering used materials and products enable us to benefit from using free electricity and fire for cooking meals. For health, because of zero waste management, 
harmful diseases like cholera, dengue, fever, and various lungs diseases caused by polluted environment will be reduced. Okay, okay. And of course, sa Earth naman, what is the benefits of using five R's to our Mother Earth? It free from pollution and waste materials. If the Earth is free from pollution, free from any type of kind of pollution, there is no pollution. If there is pollution, all living things will be able to survive. Therefore, no organism will become endangered or extinct. If there is no pollution, all of the living things will be able to survive. Those are the effect. Those are the effect of practicing the five R's. Biodiversity will continue to flourish. Keep resources from running out. Earth is a finite planet. Everything on it will continue to run out. But we recycle, reuse, repair, and recover used materials. We do not need to use the resources of the Earth over and over again. Okay? When you say finite, meaning maubos nga maubos gid siya if we keep abusing it. What we need to do is to practice how we can restore the, the abundance of the, in, of the environment. Uh, paano na to ma-take care? Paano na to ma-sustain? Paano na to ma-help? Nung hindi gin maubos ang resources at ang environment. It's through proper waste disposal or proper waste management by the use of the five R's. Most of the renewed plastic con Containers are not recycled into containers, but rather made into textiles, parking lot bumpers, all a recyclable products. That means it's only diverted from landfills, a process known as downcycling. Ang ato na nga gipang, ha, gipang baligya class ng mga plastic containers, it will not become plastic containers again. It can be uh, used, it can be recycled into textiles, parking lot bumpers, and many, many more. Now, let's proceed to your interactive number two. It's only a short topic in your science. Read and analyze the statement below. Classify each statement if they show the use of any five R's of waste management. Write your answer in the space provided before its number. Note that the option provided below can be repeat, repeated. Okay. Ano ang isulat dere sa... Uy. Ano ang isulat dere sa ano... Ano ang isulat sa blank? It's only the reuse, reduce, recycle. Ano na yung isulat dere? You can repeat. For example, your answer for number one is reduce, and number two, feeling mo reduce, gapon then do it. You can still repeat. When you say reduce as much as possible, do buy only what is needed. That is the principle of reduce. When you say reuse as much as possible, use the materials again if it's still okay when you say recycle recycle is making new product out of that waste materials for example instead of oh, those to waste um those uh, empty plastic bottles you are going to recycle it you're going to make a pot out of it that is recycle when you say recover converting waste materials to energy, to electricity, that is recovered. When you say repair, repairing means fixing things out instead of throwing it away. I hope it's clear. Reduce, buy only what is needed. Reuse as much as possible. Use it again, kung pwede lang man. Recycle, make new product out of that waste. Recover, converting waste product to electricity or uh, to electricity or uh, energy and repair fixing things so that you can use it again number one margaret found her old dolls and gave them to her baby sister okay what's your answer is it reduce reuse recycle recover next number two dennis instead of buying new bag for the coming school days washed and fixed her old one fix her old one number three Jason used paper bags in the grocery instead of plastic box. What do you think? 
is that reuse, reduce, recycle, repair, and recover. Number four, Mr. Cruz collected the chicken manure in his poultry farm and gave it to the shop that can convert biodegradable materials into LPG. Number five, Anna's school always collects old papers to be used as scratch papers. Number six, during Christmas, Kathy and her friends made a Christmas lantern made purely of mussel shells and candy wrappers. Number seven, Carol both Carol bought good vegetables only enough for her one day meal. Number eight, Melly opens a garage sale in her place to sell all her old furniture. Number nine, Johnny always brings his water tumbler every time he buys juice from the canteen. Number 10, instead of throwing away all the soft drink cans, cans he bought, soft drink cans he bought, Dennis used them as pots for her plant, for his plants. Okay, what you need to answer is right here. If it is reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. You can repeat the answer as you think it's correct. Letter B. Cite three examples in each of the five R's as much as possible. Do not include the examples mentioned in the example above and state it's important in the waste management. For example, um, how many? It's three examples in its five R's. Only examples. For example, reduce. You are going to make a statement or a scenario that pertains to reduce okay there are many examples given above but this time you are going to think your own tatlo tatlo okay and of course you are going to state why it is important in the waste management the same with your reuse tatlo gihapon recycle tatlo recover repair tatlo i hope it's clear next letter c Okay, this is your last activity before you, we will go to the next um, um, letter in our learning design. For your last activity, practice proper waste segregation at home. Start it by collecting all your garbage cans. Wash it properly. Put some garbage bag inside the cans to make it easier for you to throw when it's already full. And label each of the garbage cans. Please take some photo and take some video of yourself while making it and attach it in our forum or here in your module. You can ask help from any members of your family. Please refer to the picture below. Okay, this time I want you to make a video. You, video of yourself preparing your cans. So that you can practice the proper segregation at home. Amo ni ang ilabel ninyo sa inyo mga cans. It could be not the big cans. Small cans will be fine. Nga sa inyong balay, dapat makita di inako. Di inyo gibutang sa inyong balay. Dapat, I can see the, uh, the label. I have picture samples here. Okay, example lang ni. Eh. You can make tatlo lang, kakans plus malata, big malata, and uh, recyclables. It could okay na ng tatlo. It's only an example here. You can just write, you can just write or print recyclables, non-recyclables, and uh, uh, biodegradable, non-biodegradable, and of course recyclables or cans or plastic. It's up to you. Three cans nga ginagamito nyo sa inyong house will do. And I want to see a video of you doing this activity. And do not just do it for now because of the module. Practice this at home. Dapat nakalain si malata, si di malata, or si recyclables. Or you can make another box, another trash can for plastic, or for plastic. Here you can see organic. You can see papers, you can see plastic, you can see glass, you can see batteries. It's up to you, okay? As long as 
dapat nakasiparate gid si malata di malata and si recyclables it's up to you if you want to separate the plastic from the from the from the cans or you are going to separate it from the bottles or it's up to you but what i want to say is biodegradable and non biodegradable and recyclables dapat nakalain gid sila i want to see that in your video and do not just do it just for now continue doing it in that way we can help in the proper waste management now let's go to the o or the offer help in our uh, learning design okay i will read mother earth needs our help with our situation today where technology innovates as fast as we can imagine the world is experiencing drastic changes that may harm us in a long run take for example the global warming acid rain and the increasing amount of non-biodegradable garbages that killed 100,000 marine animals each year with that situation at hand how can a student like you help our dying earth you are going to write it here how can a student like you help our mother earth next you saw your friend secretly throw through a candy wrapper how will you tell him or her that throwing it anywhere can harm the environment okay you are going to write your answer here next we have the second to the last before we are going to end the weave connection same with the usual thing that you do you are going our school central philippine adventist college elementary school has its core values where each letter in the word cpa ces is meaning to stand for which core value do you think our topic this week fits in and why you can use more than one from the core value and kindly write your response for example you're going to say our topic is um eco empathic you're going to write it here our topic is eco empathic and blah 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 and blah blah, blah. if you think it is socially relevant write it here and explain why as easy as that two letters or if you think that the that the six letters in our core values is there then just write it and state which part you can see the core values being emphasized next all right if l you have given dominion over the work of your head you have put all things under the feet all sheep and oxen and also the beast in the field the birds in the heavens and the fish of the sea whatever passes along the path of the sea psalms chapter 8 verses 6 to 8. remember and from the very beginning the lord give human being the dominion to take care of all his creation remember that one that's why it should be a responsibility to listen to lessen the waste to take care of the environment to so that this earth will so that we can restore the beauty of the earth okay and since we are at the point of time where where innovation is really moving fast what we need to do is to become a responsible individual we should not just go with the flow we need also to influence others how to do how to take care of our environment properly and you as a student you are the future we are the future of the earth what will happen to the earth if all of us will be will become a responsible citizen that's why i want to see all of your um segregation uh all of your trust can dapat nakasegregate na okay now let's go to the last part which is the nurture hope as our party activity kindly write a three paragraph overall reflection of your experience as well doing this module each paragraph must be composed of three to four sentences but not more than five sentences the first paragraph should talk about your expectation about this module your impression while reading the module topic 
The second paragraph should talk about the struggles you have experienced while doing the module. And the last paragraph should talk about how God helped you to overcome all the struggles. Those are the basic things that we do in your Nurture Hope. But this time, make it personal. Pasa, make it personal since we're talking about the environment. And of course, you have here the prayer. I will be reading the prayer for all of you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you for once again, you have guided us up to the very start, to the ve and up to the very last part of our module. Lord, you give us the dominion over your creation. Help us to be responsible in whatever we do. May all of us will remember that cleanliness is next to godliness. Keep us always from any possible harms and dangers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay? My dear students, I hope that this um, short run through of what your module, what is inside your module can guide you as you continue to, to do, to answer your module for this week. I hope also that all the lessons that we've been tackling not only become a just pass and will not stay in your hearts and minds, I hope that you will continually live as a responsible citizen who is more than willing to take part in saving our Mother Earth. May the Lord will bless you and continue to do your work to be a responsible citizen who is practicing the proper waste disposal in order to influence your brothers and sisters, your family members, and your friends. Thank you so much, everyone, and see you in our next session.